being able to do nutrition calculations is, is pretty important. What I'm going to do right now is take you through steps in terms of how to calculate out the percentage of macronutrient distribution. So, for example, we, know, we may know how many grams of carbohydrates we may take in daily. We may know how many grams of fat, how many grams of saturated fat, how many grams of protein. But as what we're going to do is talk about how to convert those grams into calories so that we're going to be able to get percentages. So the first thing is converting the grams to calories. And when doing a nutritional analysis, we're looking on package containers. They're going to list the grams of the macronutrients, the grams of fat, protein, and carbohydrates. Fat is 9 calories for every gram, so every gram of fat is going to be 9 calories. Every gram of protein is going to be 4 calories, and every gram of carbohydrate is going to be 4 calories. So if we know the grams of fat, we're just going to multiply those grams of fat times 9, grams of protein times 4, grams of carbohydrate times 4, and that's going to give us the calorie intake or calorie content from each one of those nutrients. And then once we do that, if we know what the total calories are, we, we should be able to have that, that information on hand. We just divide the fat calories divided by the total calories, protein calories divided by the total calories, and carbohydrate calories divided by the total calories. So when you're looking at a percentage, just part divided by the whole. So for example, we have here that we're going to go through with each one of the nutrients we look at in terms of um, theoretical total calorie intake of 1740 calories and if the grams of carbohydrate were 245 we just multiply the 245 grams times 4 calories per gram so the grams will cancel, cancel out we'll be left with calories we have 980 calories from carbohydrates and then we just divide that by the total calories the 1740 and we're going to be left with point 563 and when moving a converting a decimal to a percentage we just multiply by 100 or move the decimal over 2 to the right so we come up with 56.3 percent of the calories for this example coming from carbohydrates and again the other thing percentage is part divided by the whole so the part we're looking at just the calorie content from the carbs divided by the whole the whole calorie content the 1740 and the same thing if we go through in terms of from fat, if there were 40 grams of fat on this day, 40 times 9 is 360, 360 divided by the 1740, and we come out with 20.7. Going to need to also do this for saturated fat as well, and saturated fat is part of the total fat, so total fat is broken down into saturated or unsaturated or trans fat, so those are the three main kinds of fat that we're going to be concerned with but saturated fat if there are 15 grams 15 times 9 because it's still a fat fat is 9 calories per gram and then that's going to be 135 calories divide that by 1740 and we get 7.8 and then if we had protein 100 grams of protein 100 times 4 400 400 divided by the 1740 is going to come out to be 23 percent so from a summary standpoint, just from these, these examples that we've gone through, carbohydrate on this, this day would be 56.3%, fat 20.7%, protein 23.0%, and then saturated fat 7.8%. And the one thing to keep in mind is saturated fat is part of the total fat. So the only three nutrients that are going to provide us with calories are carbs, fats, and proteins, and also alcohol. But if there wasn't any alcohol, a good way to just check our math is just add up the percentage from the carbohydrates, total fat, and protein, and that should be pretty close to 100. There's going to be some rounding error from a nutritional standpoint, but it should be pretty close to 100, and that's a good way to, to check with our, with our math. If there was alcohol, then it will be less than 100. Alcohol is going to be about 7 calories per every gram. And then the other thing is looking at and making sure that it falls within the accepted macronutrient distribution range, the AMDRs. So protein, we want to take in somewhere between 10 to 35 percent of our total calories from protein, fat somewhere between 20 to 35, and carbs somewhere between 45 to 65. And actually saturated fat, we want to have less than 10 percent, a 
overall calories. And there's some exceptions to this depending on someone's situation and specific goals. But these are the, the, the general guidelines for nutrition in terms of percentage of calories and what, what macronutrient they should be coming from.